Okay, now that we have two very simple rooms set up and we have the ability to go back and forth between the two rooms, we need to test out some items. We need to get some items in the room and make sure that we can pick them up, that they exist in our inventory, that they affect our weight, that we can move them to another room, that we can drop them. What happens if we have multiple items? So several different things we need to do. So in this video, what we're going to do is focus on items. So Logan, let's start off by creating, let's say, a blue ball in the red room. Okay. So here we've got all of our code for the red room. So I'll drop down just to after we add an exit. And let's make an item. So I'll say, let's throw down a comment saying, create a new item. Okay. And we'll do this by using our item variable. We'll say that it is equal to a new item. All right, now I've got to set up the item just like we did with the room. So we'll make some comments that say set up item or set up the item. All right, now let's take our item and we have things like title and pickup text that we need to set. Okay. So we'll say item dot title is equal to what is this going to be? The blue ball? Yeah, the blue ball. So just blue ball. Okay. And we also have item dot pickup text. And this is where we get to control, or the level designer gets to control what text will be displayed when you pick up the blue ball, which could be real handy if you, again, picked up like a PDA or you picked up a, a crumpled piece of paper. And uh, you, so you say, pick up paper. And then it says, you just picked up the crumpled piece of paper. You unfolded it or uncrumpled it and read the following note, blah, 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 blah. So in this case here, we need to say something like, you just picked up the blue ball. Just picked up the blue ball. Okay. And see, we can use pickup text to hide clues and things in, which is kind of cool. All right, so now that we've picked it up. Now, by default, with this item being created, it, its weight is set to one unit. And so we'll leave that by default. And now we need to um, take this item and actually add it into the room. So let's see here. I'll throw out a comment for this and say, um, because add remember, item to while he's putting the comment in, just remember, guys, image. where do items exist? Right. There's only two places. They rather exist in a room list or they exist in your inventory list. Anywhere else, and we've got problems. So, right, we're going to add this to the current room list. So we'll say, we'll take our room, we'll grab its items list. We'll add to that list, and we'll add the item. Oh, boy, that was hard. <laughs> All right, cool. So let's test it out. All right, we'll build. Everything's building. We'll run, and here we and go. Key. Oh, check it out. You have entered the red room. Items in room. Blue ball. All right, let's go ahead and move over to the east real quick. Let's verify that the items in the next room is empty. Ah, items in room. None. Now let's move back to west. And there's the blue ball. Now let's see if we can pick up the ball. All right, let's use our pickup command, and we'll tell it to pick up blue ball. And we should see our pickup text. Aha, you just picked up the blue ball. Fantastic. Now let's, uh, let's look to make sure it's no longer in the room. And it's not in the room's list. Awesome. So items in room, none. Now let's go ahead and, well, let's do this. Let's move uh, to the east real quick. And then let's move back again. So we're just verifying that moving back out and back in, suddenly it's not going to appear. And it's not, so it's still not in the room. Excellent. Now let's check our inventory. All right, inventory. How? What do you know? In our inventory, we have a blue ball that has the default weight of 1, which means our total weight is 1 of 6. So we know that that property is working perfectly for the get inventory weight. Awesome. Okay, so now we need to test dropping. So let's... Uh, Let's drop it. Just put it back in its starting room. So drop blue ball. Okay. Drop blue ball. Okay. So the blue ball has been dropped into this room. Let's go ahead and look. And we're still in the red room. There's the blue ball. Now let's pick it up and move it over into the next room, the blue room. So pick up blue ball. Move east. And from here we can drop blue ball. All right, so the blue ball has been dropped into this room. And let's look. And there we go. The blue ball's in the room. So that's just some, some quick testing with a single item. And we can pick it up and add it into our inventory. It affects our weight. We can drop it back in the room, or we can carry it to another room and drop it. Fantastic. So let's go ahead and jump out of here and introduce a second object. And with the second object, let's make it very heavy. Okay, um, and then we can uh, test our weight capacity. Exactly. 
Alright, so we want a second item. The easiest way to do that would be to just grab this entire block of code where we were creating the blue ball. Let's make it over it. in the blue room. And, right, because it's the blue ball from the red room. So let's move down. Here we have the blue room. And let's jump down until just after we added the exit. Paste the code for creating an item in. And this time, let's see, let's make a really heavy object. Okay. Let's make an anvil. Because everybody needs an anvil. And we'll set its weight to six. So, so yeah, here for the pickup text, let's really demonstrate how it can be useful. You you strain and grunt and struggle, and finally you striggle. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> you struggle to pick up the anvil. All right, beautiful. And now let's go ahead and actually assign it a weight because we don't want to use the default weight of one. So we'll set our item's weight to, let's make it six. Let's make it a, the heaviest item you can pick up. Awesome. All right, so with that in place, let's go ahead and execute. And go ahead and hit a key. All right, so let's just first, we, we see we got a blue ball in here. Let's go ahead and move east and check what's over there. Okay, anvil, so let's try this. Let's pick up the anvil. All right, so you struggle to pick up the anvil. Let's do an inventory, check our weight. All right, so right now our total weight is six of six. Beautiful. So now let's go ahead and move back to the west. Okay, so we're back in the red room. Drop the anvil so we can test multiple items in a room. Okay, so the anvil's been dropped into this room. Let's look. Oh, so items in the room. We have a blue ball and an anvil. Perfect. Let's go ahead and pick up the anvil once again. All right, so now let's look. And there should only be one item. There is the blue ball. So let's pick up the blue ball now. Pick up blue ball. You must first drop some weight before you can pick up that item. Ah, it's beautiful. It's working exactly the way it's supposed to work. So let's go ahead and drop our anvil. And now let's pick up the blue ball. And you just picked up the blue ball. Let's do a look to make sure it's just an anvil sitting in the room. And it is. Now let's go ahead and pick up the anvil. And it should not allow us to. You must first drop weight before you can pick up that item. That's beautiful. So now we can go through here and populate items all over the place. So now we know items working beautifully with both the room list and our player's inventory list. So is that pretty much everything we want to talk about with items? I think that should do it, yeah. Okay, so we were planning on having a fully functional game put together in this one, but we actually decided to postpone that to the next video so that in this video we could focus on just items. So next video we're going to put together a simple game with rules and everything. Thanks a lot.